What's going on, everybody? It's Rev, and welcome back to another Dauntless video. We're going to be getting into episode 10, but also we are fresh on a new day. And so we're going to go through our daily routine. We're going to get our daily login core. We're going to see what we get. And our cell finished at the middleman, which I just picked up. But let's see what we get. Take a peek here. Nothing good. Looks like dust to me. And I think the new week just started for the middleman. And so we will go to my cells. Let's actually see first what this is. Deconstruction. Theric attunement and plus one overpower. I want that overpower. I'm just going to grab it right now. That's nice. I like the etheric attunement. Be nice to have for the future. The plus three decon. I mean, I'm going to be able to get all these eventually anyway. So decon is going to actually be last. I'm going to go down to my cells. We'll go down all the way to the greens. I'm going to get rid of hmm, I have a lot of lucent debatable debatable um I'm gonna save I think we'll save we'll pick up that etheric attunement later maybe we'll open some cells in the future I have a I have a distinct feeling that I'm going to get a lot of cores here in the near future. It seems like we're approaching that point of the game. Let's grab a few of these. These are the daily hunt pass um, collectibles. You get 50 EXP every day if you collect them. So it's definitely worth doing whether you're free to play or uh, on the paid track. Just got a level there. So that's nice. And one thing I need to do is we just started a new chapter, so I just need to go around and uh, pick up all the brand new quests. This is where Escalation starts opening up. We got to get to 350 to partake in that. Arcstone Defense. Dole Arcstones. That's just the Arcanite for Dyers. Get a rare Fractal Hide from Valamir. This is also where we fight Valamir for the first time and Rift Stalker, but we're going to be doing Valamir first down the line before the dawn hunt Valamir and craft a radiant weapon. All right. Well, I think that's all, everything. Yes, it is. Now, I see you guys in the comments recently and you're really hoping for that axe gameplay. So what we're going to do today is uh we're gonna craft up an x but i need to know what we're going for first that's that's the first order of business we're gonna get that x that x though that x though this looks like a solid candidate this can be a solid candidate i do enjoy the drask x ah I think we found our candidate. Skarn's Judgment. See how far we can get this. Looks like plus three. You know, I think... I think it's Terra Patrol time. I think it's Terra Patrol time. But what does that mean? Alright, here's the plan. Patrol. Terra. And we're going to get Skarn or Karabak. Hmm, I really need Shock Orbs. What about Aether Strikers? What about Aether Strikers? Let's take a peek here. Ooh. Two twenty power versus. And I'm just comparing power. Um, one of the unfortunate things of playing all of the weapons or needing to craft all the weapons means I need to patrol, you know, five times as much, six times as much. Luckily, the 
the um the patrol chests are really helping me out and uh just so it, this doesn't take forever i'm just gonna we're just gonna send it on the now Karabak spends a ton of time on the ground so i'm actually gonna just put overpower to plus six get that 60 percent on staggered state as a fun fact i get this question quite a bit uh overpower triggers on a ko which is when you have the stars above its head and they pop and then they fall over uh so ko triggers on break triggers on shock proc and interrupt so there's four states of a staggered state but that's uh that's a really large bit of information that a lot of players need to know if you're looking to play the uh the current meta of dauntless which is that the stagger meta and it's even more and knowing what you know now with the the whole uh, part break thing where I uh, I'm I constantly I'm trying to nail into your head that you want to go for a part break a part and go for a, a completely unbroken part that is something that plays into that right so you're turning your your part breaking need into a damage bonus and there's the logic behind uh, moving from part to part and uh, I'm just trying to set you guys up for success you know what I'm saying all right we got our dearly beloved care back hate you so much hold this damage just just hold it just take take the damage remember care back we are going to be going for the head we're gonna get a stagger I'm gonna pop my overdrive early I'm just gonna go into the bees because we don't we don't give a flying break the tail it's on the ground again and my attack speed unload mad slicers you can see before the fight even starts that we got it to half goes into rage rage hunter is now active it's gonna chill on the ground some more and i will take that Sitting on the ground some more. Now Karabak has an interrupt. And I'm going to try... Yep, this. It drags its blades. Uh, and it only does this in Aether form. And you can hit it during that time. And get an interrupt window. But the sword is particularly good at it because it goes sliding for like a million years away. That makes no sense, but you know, sometimes you just gotta make no sense to make sense. I don't know what that means either. Tell me in the comments if you know what that means. Say, Revy, you're making a lot of sense. All right, that's a Terra Patrol down. That's 20 orbs easy 20 orbs we got some consumables we got some chitin we got some deadly incisors we got a deadly ov ovipositor bug parts i know we're playing the sword a lot it's my main weapon it allows me to you know do do other things i'm playing a lot of different weapons so i apologize if i'm not playing your particular weapon that you enjoy playing uh, i am going to be playing all of the weapons so don't worry uh, it's just a matter of when right i gotta craft them all up this is a brand new account i'm tempted to make this plus five i'm gonna make it plus five heck it all right the axe our beloved axe all right now we have plenty of drask weapons we want to upgrade am i right am i right so what we're going to do, we're going to sell this up. Hmm, what are we going to put in? Overpower, of course. But what else are we going to put in? 
Nine lives is a great sell, but plus one is kind of meh. I'll I'll take the plus one tough. Plus one tough means that we get uh five percent increased healing from all sources and fifty health, which is roughly seen as just five percent health, I believe. Yeah, five percent health. Something like that. Now let's see. We don't have any masteries, no mods. We have Flight of Ruin, which is fine. I was actually playing on stream with Flight of Ruin in Escalation, the harder version of Escalation. I was having a lot of fun with it. Flight of Ruin's a good special. It's gotta know how to use it, and we'll talk about it here in the next hunt. So, I think it's just gonna be a patrol day today. Let's do a shock patrol and just pray to the gods that we don't get this new Stormclaw because, ooh. Ooh, we know how we feel about Stormclaw. <laughs> we know how we feel about Stormclaw. While we're waiting, I'm gonna I'm gonna look around for the the additional uh what are they called? I don't even know. The red rings, you know. The bull rings. I don't know where they are. Had a look. But I've been playing a lot of escalation lately. And I've been having a good time testing out all the weapons. The great thing about Escalation is all the weapons feel really viable and good. <sighs> we're going to suck it up and we're going to try. We're going to try our darndest to axe this new Stormclaw. And... um. I'm not excited about it. I'm going to be honest. I'm not excited. But, hey, if if you guys have to do it, I need to do it, right? I can't I can't circumvent the Stormclaw just because I don't want to do it, right? Doing this together. I see that Stormclaw is actually just front and center, so I'm not even going to gather. I'm just going to get this over with. <laughs> Let's get this over with. All right, here we go. Full try hard. Hopefully just cream this thing before it has a chance to do anything. What do you got? What do you have? Got the interrupt. It's worth the trade. Now, let's talk about the X. It's our first time playing the X, but ooh, not not versus our our favorite opponent. This is punishment for waiting to play the axe so long, I guess. Now, Flight of Ruin is the axe special. Throw your axe like a boomerang. You can run around in a circle and, you know, it, it will eventually get to you. But when you do the overhead slam, you get super armor, which means you won't be uh, staggerable. Dang. Need to compensate for the attack speed. Ugh. Phoenix Labs, what have you done? What have you done to me? Got it. Got it. That doesn't break it. All right, we're good. Fence disaster averted. Oh, the Aether form for Stormfall. I should be talking about the X. Sorry, this is really hard to talk about the X. Getting the interrupts. All right. Hopefully my demonstration of what I'm doing with the X is kind of self-explanatory, but I don't know. The X is a charge weapon. It ramps. It has a ramping mechanic called determination and another mechanic called resolve. Resolve is the super armor that is on some of the attacks. There we go, a flawless one. Let's go. Two for one. As I like to say, collat. Or collateral damage. I'm getting that collat. Roll the enrage. Start charging. Now the axe is kind of a cool weapon because even if you don't play the axe, even if you don't play the axe, you're actually getting better at the axe. And the reason for that is because the axe is heavily based on uh, on um, on position. Uh, 
um because it is a charged weapon you know you need to be in the right spot you need to know what the moves are you know where where's the behemoth going to be after it uses its move because you need to be there in that position and uh picking that flower sheath my weapon which is unfortunate i'm gonna fly to ruin again and so what i'm doing is when you level up your charge like this i'm getting to level three you don't need to get to level three to get axe charge by the way and a good axe player and a and a you know a mediocre axe player is gonna know when to release a level two charge or a level three charge because the damage difference is minimal but the charge amount is where it's at um and what i mean by where it, and sorry that's like really vague um when you you're you're gonna get more charge the more you charge the axe and but the damage that you're going to deal with a two charge and a three charge is significantly less than if you did say one to three right so if you just let it rip on a level one you're going to be dealing less damage and uh minimal charge but at level two it's kind of like that sweet spot where you shouldn't be afraid to let go of a level two charge if you need to if that if that means getting the hit let go right and we have a evasive storm claw i think it's all the way back at the beginning which is unfortunate but that gives us time to talk about the axe so let's talk about perfect charges at level three there's a point in the charge that you can release and it's right when you level up into level three you can release at that point to get what is called resolve which is that super armor you won't get staggered and you've seen me use it a few times um but most of the time i've been unsuccessful and have traded with stormclaw now the axe specials flight of ruin you can throw it out and that's all fine and dandy it's when the overhead slam comes down that you get resolve and so that's how you cash in your meter so when your meter is full that's when you use your special and your axe levels up and you can see that i'm level two right now get the trade but i'm not quite getting the notice how i'm going for the parks that are unbroken even though i'm playing a different weapon i'm gonna get this ko because f you storm claw am i right I just leveled up you hear that little swing that means i can uh fly to ruin you can call it back whenever you want by reactivating the special so that's what i just did there we're actually murdering this thing we're dealing a lot of damage so i'm just dodging taking my time i'm actually letting my stamina get back so i'm not even gonna charge here i'm just gonna wait Level 3 is the maximum. There is a mod for the axe that lets you go to level 4. Very good in Escalation, by the way. By the by. Got that flawless. Was really, really hairy. That shouldn't have happened, but it was placing pylons in a very strange location. I'm trying to squeeze in the... Uh, all these trees are really getting on my wick, dude. They're getting on my wick. All right. Oh my goodness, Stormclaw, your hitbox is awful. All right, we did it. We survived Stormclaw a second time. Whew. That was a, that was a adventure, but we earned our orbs, all right? We fought hard, we played a little bit of the ax, we messed up a Stormclaw, we finished the Maelstrom effect, at least for the Stormclaw portion, and we played the ax. Um, I know I didn't really go over the axe too well. If I could get a less mobile behemoth that requires less concentration, that would be lovely. But we'll definitely keep revisiting the axe. I'll go over more tips. Um, but resolve is great for interrupting. And as, as such, that means overpower is really good on the axe. And uh, it also deals a lot of stagger damage. I think we KO'd Stormclaw twice there. Not quite sure. I'm rubber banding a bit. That's unfortunate. Um, so what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to actually aim. So we've upgraded that. I don't really... Mm, I like the Drask Axe. Behemoth heads. Extra damage there. 
I want to upgrade my hammer for sure because we need to fight Rockfall Skarn. We'll definitely be taking the hammer there. Need more orbs. Need more shock orbs. I want to see what we can do here. Let's, um... So, before I actually do this, I'm going to just quickly go over Behemoth Mastery. And I'm looking to level up. I'm looking to get a couple Slayer levels, maybe a Behemoth um, Mastery level or so. And so, Craft All Boreas Armor is checked. We're just going to craft the full armor set of something if we can. Because we've fought multiple Behemoths uh, many times. I'm just going to craft the full set. And this is something that you can kind of look at and see if you can do. We fought Sharag a handful of times. We'll probably be able to finish the full set. It's not going to net you a ton of EXP, but this is something that you can look to do if you fought or patrolled a lot and you're looking to... I, I get I get questions a lot like, you know, I'm, I'm getting stuck. How do I not get stuck? By the way, recently the Nasher armor... So the Nasher armor was bugged. If you're watching this in the far future, you probably have access to the Nasher gear. If you're watching my early game guides, that's totally fine. Get the Nasher gear. It's really good. But it was bugged. It is no longer bugged if you're watching and following along. So we can uh, we can slip into some of this if we wanted to. And we might. We're definitely going to be upgrading the, the gloves. So I'm going to do that now. The gloves are easily the best piece of the Nasher set. And um, Carabac. We need a lot of Carabac parts. Need, uh, I believe those are the claws. Need three of each. Oof. Uh, we can craft the boots here. That's an easy one. Shrike. We broke up Scrave pretty well. And we will probably be able to do Scrave too. Oh, never mind. Requires a lot more. Maybe Stormclaw? Are we lucky in a... Oh, tell me. Tell me we have everything for Stormclaw. See, that Stormclaw was super worth it. All right. That makes it, that makes the struggle worth it. All right. Let's see where we're at. We leveled up quite a bit. Were we level 11? Yo. So, I mean, we didn't cr even craft all the armor sets, but we got some levels. All right. We're going to, I didn't mean to do that, but hey, it is what it is. Um, so we got some mastery. Let's see if that gave us, it looks like it gave us some cores. Ooh, okay. Good job, me. All right, we got a lot of cores from that. So we're going to open up and then we'll, uh, we'll take it over to the middleman, maybe. Maybe we'll cash in a little bit. Um, As an early sell, Energized is very good for the axe. It means that you'll be able to ramp your axe even faster and get those determination stacks. So if you're having trouble getting the ax to level up because, you know, the higher level is when you're gonna see those big damages. Ooh. I'm seeing things I like. I'm seeing that last core was fire. All right, so what we're gonna do, take it on over to the middleman. We're utilizing all of our resources. This is part of Dauntless, right? I know it's a lot of upkeep in the early stages and it's like, Revy, just go on hunts. And it's like, y'all got these questions. I got answers and I'm showing you the answers. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got two conduit and they're they're floating. You know, we have, technically have three plus one conduits and they're floating. And um, we could we could upgrade it, very tempting, but I think we'll leave it for another time. Let's, uh, let's call the episode here. And we'll get back into more Axe gameplay. I'm going to do more Shock Patrols. We're going to upgrade all of our Shock stuff. And we also already have... We need to fight Rockfall Skarn. So that's going to be the Shock weapon. Uh, Rockfall Skarn is a Terra Behemoth. Terra is weak to Shock. Firebrand Charog. We have a Frost weapon already ready. With our Boreas Sword. Ragetail Nasher is a neutral Behemoth. We can play whatever we want there. I'm... Not quite sure. Maybe we'll play like Aether Strikers or something on that. We haven't played. What haven't we played in a while? We haven't played Repeaters. Maybe we'll do Repeaters. We'll upgrade some Repeaters. That might be something that we need to do. 
anyway we'll figure it out once the once the time comes but that's gonna do it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching uh we beat that storm claw heck yeah we're gonna be patrolling more i'll probably get more storm claw and get another one for the axe but hey that's how it goes thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please leave a like uh subscribe to the channel use creator code wherever you're at in the dauntless in-game store or the epic game store and um yeah i stream a lot on twitch you can check me out there hit the follow button and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the shattered isles